Today I called the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department and talked to Deputy Wade Johnson. I did not intend to use this video, but due to the second conversation we had and the interesting statements that Deputy Johnson made, I've decided to publish it. Wayne Johnson? Wayne Johnson. And you are a deputy? Yeah, what's your name? My name is Adamo Freeman, and I'm calling you today to inquire about Deputy Going, who is on a video sent to me arresting an individual for filming another officer doing an arrest. So he was not arrested for uh, filming us. Are you aware of the situation I'm describing? Uh, I'm not, but I know he wasn't arrested for filming. So you're not aware of the situation, but you know he wasn't arrested for filming. I know parts of it, but not the entire situation. I know parts of it, but not the entire situation. Okay. Uh, Deputy Johnson, I just got off the phone with you, and I just want to remind you that I am audio recording this call. But uh, you weren't at that scene, were you? Actually, I was at the scene. You were present. Yeah. So you know that way, or you know firsthand. You said you kind of were familiar with it. That wasn't exactly true the first time around. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I can talk to you about it. Well, I understand, but I mean, like, you actually have a better perspective than you led me to believe. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I don't need to tell you everything about it. Well, yeah. so, once again, I appreciate your time, and, uh, you no know, problem. maybe, in the, you know, just try not to escalate things. Just, but you know, maybe you can ignore people sometimes. Just monitor we, them. We try not to. I, I encourage filming. I, I think filming helps us as much as you guys think it helps the other people. Hey, I, I, like I, I am too. definitely an advocate of that. You know, I meet a lot of people with badges who, who think I'm just trying to pick on you guys. And I, this, uh, you know, a video is a transparent thing, not just a... No, we're, we're trying to get cameras for our own people. You know what I mean? We want we like the cameras around. We want them to be around. We just want them, to, if, if it's someone that's filming us, we just want them to be at a safe distance so that we don't have to worry about them or worry about the people that are detained right now. Sure, but sometimes you, you can understand how that's, that, that's, you know, counterproductive to the point of filming, right? You need the audio and video... And so you back somebody up, and a lot of officers use that as like a, you know, way to pad, you know, their accountability. Uh, I mean, I can't speak for all officers, but like I said out here, we we appreciate the filming and the and the even the audio. I don't mind the audio, but if if, if if it's not safe for you guys to be in that area, then you may not catch the audio. Sure. And that's just part of of unfortunate the unfortunate part of what you guys do. Well, yeah, and, uh, you know, let's think of the start of this whole conversation. A person is being ticketed for skateboarding, and uh, that's part of what you all guys do, and that's a victimless crime, and we probably wouldn't even be having to have this conversation if that first well, officer I mean, just would have let that one go. You guys say it's a victimless crime, but, I mean, that's, there's a reason why that has become a crime, and that's because there's a lot of accidents that happen in that tunnel from people being on skateboards and people being on bikes, and so obviously there was enough to where the university felt that they needed to, to stop that from happening. I understand that. So, a pr private property is one thing if they make the rule and then they can enforce it with their own rules like they do, like, you know, administrations and acceptance. But uh, to have officers ticket people and do this thing is kind of a waste of time. And it is it is a victimless crime. And for the point of, like, this ticket, you know, no one was harmed here in this exact circumstance. Now, if... With freedom comes responsibility, and if so, if somebody would act negligently or create even a harm on accident, they have to be held responsible for that. So I'm not advocating that people who harm other people don't be held responsible, but we don't have to harm a bunch of other people in the process of trying to prevent that. And you can't prevent wow. that, right? You can't prevent what? Well, you're not going to... This law doesn't prevent people from skateboarding through it, obviously, and it's not going to prevent any accidents from happening. If they happen, the people that cause them are still going to have to be held responsible and the people who don't cause them are being ticketed. You know, that's a victimless crime. Well, I mean, who knows? You don't know what's going to happen. You, you, they, they could have caused an accident. That's right, right. Like, that's exactly... Or, you know what I mean? Right. But there, it's there, like... There, there's a reason why they enforce that rule and, that's why, and why they're citing people for it. And that's... I hear you, but it's the whole... It's out. the whole movie, The Minority Report, you know? It's not really a crime until it happens and so you can't prevent crimes just because you make this rule. You know, you're not preventing people from skateboarding through there. It still happens. And so yeah, it's really I agree. It's just like you can't stop people from killing other people, but it still happens. It still happens. Right. It's still against law, but it still happens. Exactly. So you deal with it when people do it. You know it's wrong, and then they're held responsible for their actions. And so if you base that philosophy and be consistent with it, 
you would probably get rid of a lot of laws that exist today. <laughs> you guys' job would be a lot easier. I don't, I don't make the laws. I just enforce them. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean, and that is a poor excuse. I'm sorry, but like you have a you you have a conscience, and you have you know what's right and wrong, and like you don't have to enforce bad laws. So I hope you don't. Just, I just saying. I, I enforce all laws. It's all it's my job. I know, but to think about that. If they made ketchup illegal, you're gonna start kicking down doors to grab some ketchup. If it's illegal, I gotta do my job. Oh man, you're making this video worthwhile posting. I just wanted this for notes. You know, like it's that's like, come on, man. Like, if if would you still use ketchup at home too? Dude, you're 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 comparing apples to oranges. Uh, well, they really are. Well, okay. It's crazy that you're comparing the skateboard site to ketchup illegal. Well, I'm you, you're I'm comparing the analogy or the statement that you made that you will enforce any law that is given to you. And even if that's a bad law, but the system of checks and balances that, you know, some people purport to believe in that at some point you would have to say no. Right. I hope well, you, you, got... don't, you, you don't know me for anything. And that's you don't know true. How I, work, how I work as a person. So, I mean, but I have met can... a lot of police officers and I have heard more than one of you say this to me. And so, that's fine, but not, not all police officers are the same. And just like there's bad people that work at every job. Well, I'm not. So I'm not even to, saying you, you guys are the, bad. If you want to take the handful of cops that you think are bad, and then make all other cops look like that, then that's fine. That's your prerogative. I'm just not. I'm not saying you're bad. I'm saying that when you say I don't, I don't make the laws. I enforce them. I hope that you realize that at some point you might have to make a decision on whether or not you want to do that because the laws are ridiculous. They pass forty thousand laws a year. I mean, the, I know. they're all not I good. Know. You have to agree that they're all not good, and you can't be happy about all the oh, yeah. laws you have to enforce. And so, at some point, you got to make that agree decision. With you on that. So, I would absolutely agree with you on that. That's all I'm saying. Maybe it's not skateboarding for you today. Maybe it's ketchup. But at some point, we'll get there because that's all the government does is grow and make more laws. And I'm sorry you're caught in the middle of that, uh, but you are. And at the end of the day, you know, coplock.org/slash/welcome-leos. Just check out that website, <laughs> that link. I will. All right, man. Thanks for your time. All right, Mr. Freeman. Take, Take care. Take care.